In this video, I'll show you how to make a cropped crochet cardigan. It's super simple and perfect for beginners. To begin, we'll make the ribbing at the bottom of the cardigan. Create a slip knot and using the 5mm hook, chain 15. To do this, insert the hook into the slip knot and pull tight. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. Repeat this till you have 15 chains. This will be the height of the ribbing, which is around 3 inches. Once you've finished the row of 15, turn your work 90 degrees. Now crochet 14 back loop only slip stitches. So insert your hook into the back loop of the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, and pull through again. So insert your hook into the back loop only of the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, and pull through again. Repeat this till the end of the row. Once you've reached the end of the row, chain one and then turn your work. Carry on creating back loop only slip stitches. There should be a total of 14 for each row, so skip the chain that you've just created. Insert your hook into the back loop of the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Repeat the rows of 14 back loop slip stitches till you have a total of 105 rows. My piece of work measured 50 centimeters whilst it was unstretched. However, if you would like, you can make it till it's able to wrap around your waist easily. Now switch out the five millimeter hook for the six millimeter hook. Chain one and turn your work 90 degrees. Half double crochet into the top of each rows of the, from the ribbing. To create our first half double crochet, insert into the indented into the first indented row. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Now you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three of the loops. Since we've just created our half double crochet into an indented row, our next half double crochet should be in a raised row. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through all three of the loops on your hook. Repeat this again and this time in an indented row. Continue this pattern until you reach the end of the row, making sure to insert one half double crochet into a raised row and then an indented row. In total, you should have around 105 half double crochets or the number of rows you created in your ribbing. Chain two and then turn your work. Half double crochet this full row. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. You should repeat this till the end of the row. This is our second row of half double crochets. In my cardigan, I created eight rows. However, if you would like your cardigan not to be cropped and would like it to be longer, you can add as many rows as you like. Here we will start by shaping the neckline. Chain two and turn your work. We will do two rows that are exactly the same. So to start off, we'll half double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, 
yarn over and pull through. Now insert your hook into the second stitch, yarn over, pull through. You should have a total of four stitches on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four stitches. That is your first half double crochet together. Now half double crochet the rest of the row until you have two stitches remaining. When you have two stitches remaining, half double crochet them two together. So yarn over, insert your hook, insert your hook into the next stitch as well, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all four stitches on your hook. Now chain two and turn your work and repeat that same row again. Next, split the cardigan into the two front panels and the back panel. Count 24 stitches and place the stitch marker into the 25th stitch. Here I've used a safety pin, but you can use anything to mark your place. Repeat this from the other side. Count 24 and place the stitch marker into the 25th stitch. We are now working on one of the front panels, so chain 2 and turn your work. Half double crochet until you reach the stitch marker. Once you've reached the stitch marker, chain 2 and turn your work. Half double crochet this row until you have two stitches remaining at the end. This will continue our neckline shaping. When you've reached the last two stitches, yarn over and pull through, yarn insert your hook into the next stitch as well, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all four. This is our half double crochet two together. Now repeat this set of two rows six times in total, so you should have 12 ro rows all together. This will shape our neckline. Once you have finished the neckline shaping, we are moving on to create five rows of half double crochet. To create the back panel, make 17 rows of half double crochets. First, join the yarn to the work by creating a slip knot. Insert your hook into the stitch with the stitch marker. Pull the slip knot through the stitch. 
yarn over and pull through. This joins the yarn to the work. Now create a row of half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch as your join, yarn over and pull through all three. Repeat this till the end of the row or until you reach the stitch marker. Once you've reached the stitch marker, you have completed the first row of our back panel. Chain 2 and turn the work. Repeat this till you have a total of 17 rows. the second front panel. This will be exactly the same as the first front panel. Before we begin we have to attach the yarn to the work. So like before create a slip knot, insert your hook into the first stitch of the work, pull the slip knot through yarn over and pull through. So this is our join. Now half double crochet till the very last stitch until you reach the back panel. Once you have reached the end, chain 2 and turn your work. Now half double crochet to the end of the row until you have 2 stitches left. Once you have neared the end and you have 2 stitches remaining, half double crochet these 2 stitches together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, insert your hook into the second stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull through all four loops on your hook. Repeat this set of two six times in total. Then create five rows of just half double crochets. Once you have finished, it should look something like this. It should be exactly the same as your other front panel. Now we're going to join both the shoulders together, so line up the front panel onto the back panel. You can either use a darning needle to sew this together or use single crochets to join the top like I am doing here. To join the top using single crochets, insert your hook into the first stitch of the back panel. Yarn over and pull through. Then yarn over again and pull through. This is a first single crochet. For the next single crochet, insert your hook into the next stitch of the front panel and then into the next stitch of the back panel. Yarn over and pull through. 
and then yarn over and pull through again. Repeat this till you reach the end of the front panel. This will join the tops together. Once you have finished, it should look something like this. Repeat the same thing for the other side, so you have something that looks like this. Now we're going to move on to making the sleeve. Start off by creating a slip knot. We're going to work on the ribbing. So using your 5mm hook, insert your hook into the loop, pull tight. Chain 11, so yarn over and pull through. Once you've reached the end, turn your work. Now we're going to create 10 back loop only slip stitches. So insert your hook into the back loop of the first stitch then yarn over and pull through and pull through again. Insert into the back loop of the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, pull through again. Repeat this till the end of the row, then chain one and turn. Do this for a total of 29 rows, or until it wraps comfortably around your wrist. Once you've finished the ribbing for the sleeve, replace the 5mm hook with the 6mm hook. Chain 1 and turn your work 90 degrees. Now similar to before, half double crochet into every row, into the top of every row. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three. Make sure you half double crochet into each raised row and each indented row. Once you've reached the end, chain 2 and turn your work. Now we're moving on to a row of increases. Start off by creating two half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over and pull through again, and then create another half double crochet. Now we're going to create an increase. To do this, create two half double crochets in the same stitch. So that's the first half double crochet and now the second half double crochet and put that in the same stitch as before. As you can see we have two half double crochets and then two half double crochets in the same stitch. Repeat this again till the end of the row. So one half double crochet two half double crochets And now two half double crochets in the same stitch. So one, and here's the second one in the same stitch. Once you've reached the end, chain two and turn your work. We're now going to create a set of five rows that we are going to repeat seven times. For the first row, half double crochet till there's one stitch remaining.
when there is only one stitch remaining, create an increase by half double crocheting two, two in the same stitch. So that's the first half double crochet. And then the second in the same stitch. Now chain two and turn your work. For the next four rows, half double crochet till the end. Repeat this set of 5 rows 7 times in total, so you've completed your first set and repeat another 6. Once you have finished it, look, it should look something like this. Fold the sleeve in half and sew it together. You can either use a darning needle or single crochets. Make sure you line up everything correctly. Once sewn, turn the sleeve right sides out. Make sure the seam is at the bottom of the sleeve. Now whip your cardigan facing wrong sides out, put your sleeve on the inside. Now line up the sleeve to the armhole. Now it should be right sides facing together. Make sure to line up the seams at the bottom and then move the sleeve around till it lays well with the armhole. Use safety pins to make sure everything is evenly spaced. Here I'm using a darning needle, but you can also single crochet around. I'm using a blanket stitch. Make sure to evenly space your stitches. Once you have finished, create another sleeve and sew it to the other side, doing the exact same things. Now we're going to move on to the neckline. The first step is to place a stitch marker at the point where the neckline starts to angle inwards. This is the place where we started our decreases to shape the neckline. Do this on both sides. Now we're going to join our yarn to one corner of our front panel. So create a slip knot, insert your 6mm hook into the first stitch, pull through the loop, yarn over and pull through. Here we have joined the yarn. Now single crochet along the edge till you reach your stitch marker. Make sure to evenly space your stitches. If they're too far apart, the cardigan will start to ruffle. If they're cl too close together, it'll start to bunch. Once you've reached the stitch marker, we're going to remove the stitch marker and single crochet three stitches in the same stitch.
this is the first, the second, and the third. Now carry on creating slip single crochets all the way across till you reach the next stitch marker, then single crochet three stitches in that stitch. And then carry on again with just single crochet. Once you've reached the end, chain one and turn your work. For this round, just single crochet all the way across. Now position the buttons evenly on your cardigan and mark the position with a stitch marker. Single crochet till you reach a stitch marker. Once you reach one, chain two. Skip the next two stitches and then single crochet in the third. If you have a smaller button, you can chain one and skip only one. If you have a larger button, you can chain three and skip three. Single crochet till you reach the next stitch marker and repeat what we just did. Then single crochet all the way around. For the last round, single crochet across. When you reach a buttonhole, simply single crochet as normal. The last and final step is to position the buttons and sew them on. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and I would love to read a comment.